We talked about content decay recently and that the best way to combat traffic decline and speed growth is by updating your posts. This week, we're going to discuss five of the biggest blunders I see bloggers making in that content update process. My name is Leslie Peterson, and I help professional bloggers stop chasing shiny new trends and grow their business consistently and with a plan. If you're an established blogger, here's what I want to share with you. You can double, and I do mean double, double your traffic by updating your posts on a regular basis, but you have to do it right or else your efforts are fruitless or worse. Every day I hear bloggers making these mistakes repeatedly. I want something better for you, which is why I'm sharing these blunders today. Okay, the first mistake is a lack of a plan. If it doesn't get planned, it doesn't get done. With an annual plan, you not only have it on your to-do list each workday, so you begin to form a little bit of a habit, but you know exactly which post to work on. I hear repeatedly that a large chunk of time for those non-planners is picking the post to work on every day. That's a waste and super inefficient. The other part of your plan should be exactly what to do inside each post. And hear me, if you're just beginning this post update process, you might not be able to do everything to every post right away, and that's okay. Prioritize your plan. Determine what's non-negotiable and what you can put off until you touch it again in a year. And I want to speak directly to my type A friends for a second. I know you, I'm in the same club. If you try to do all the things to every post during your first year of regular updates, you're going to burn out. And there's nothing in the world worth that. Your post was fine 30 days ago. It'll be better than fine after you apply a selection of post update tasks in this round and more in the next round. And it will never be perfect. So don't hang yourself before you get started. If you want more detail on the steps I take in my post update process, then click the link down below where you can download my free blog post update checklist. The second mistake I see is that when bloggers update their posts, they don't vet the keyword that they're updating it for. The two questions I want to ask yourself, I want you to ask yourself are this. Does the keyword have a monthly search volume high enough to warrant the effort that you're about to put in? Think about this when you're first writing your post, that's a better place to start, but ask it again if you haven't before. Writing a post is not a one-time investment. It requires upkeep for the rest of its life, so you want to make sure it's worth it. And if it's not worth the effort, is there a term that you can select for your posts that will allow you to grow the number of page views uh, despite that? And even if it is a term that has volume, is it the right term? Is there a better term with maybe lower difficulty, higher volume? Remember in mistake number one about planning, I said to prioritize your efforts, right? Picking the right keyword is the number one priority. Don't overlook this, okay? Before I share the last three rules, if you're finding this information helpful, please subscribe to this channel where we share new information just for bloggers, just like this every week. Okay, mistake number three, updating a post that should be managed in a different manner. If your content's thin and you don't want to beef it up or you can't for whatever reason, if there's just no good keyword for the content, if you're not getting traffic to that post and the efforts to upgrade them outweigh the benefit, then take a different direction. Roll the copy into another post uh, where it makes sense. If it does really well on social media, then you can keep it, just unindex it. And if these don't work, uh, just put it in draft mode, get it off your site. And I know that's scary, but if you're not getting any traffic anyway, why would you keep it? Mistake number four is not about poor performers. It's about your posts that are doing really well. Just because it's doing well doesn't mean you should avoid updating it. Far from it. Post updates are better for you when you can maintain your ranking rather than having to resuscitate the post. However, you don't want to overhaul it. So keep your updates to a minimum. Check for changed information, broken links. If you need to expand the content, try to focus on adding it to the bottom. FAQs are my favorite way to expand on well-ranking posts. But if you need more ideas, you can check out our video on expanding content linked above. And the final mistake, not being consistent. If you update three posts this week and one post next week and 10 posts the following week and then you take a three month hiatus, you're not gonna double your traffic, I promise you that. I'm going to leave you with a great quote from Dwayne The Rock Johnson, who, if you don't know, is a really great businessman. And he said this, success isn't always about greatness. 
It's about consistency. Consistent hard work leads to success and greatness will come.